Okay, so now let's look at part two of problem number 21. Uh, and in part two, we want to ask the question, if she walks at three miles an hour, what is the minimum speed at which she must row so that the quickest way to the restaurant is to row directly to the restaurant? And I still have the same picture over here. You know, she's out here. She's four miles from the shore. And in part one, she wanted to pick some intermediary place to hit the shore and then walk the rest of the way. When this problem is saying, well, if she rode at a certain speed, then the optimal path would be to just row all the way to the restaurant and never walk at all. So what's the minimum speed that she would have to travel for that to be the optimal route? So what I've done is I've set up the equation for t again. And notice that this is exactly like the equation for t was before, with one exception, and that is that we don't know anymore how fast she rows. So I just put a variable in there, we call it z. And so z is the speed at which she rows. Okay, now what I want to do is go through the exact same process again. Let's take a derivative, set it equal to zero. But then when we set it equal to zero, we can say something. And that is we know what the value of x should be. The value of x, if she rows all the way to the restaurant, then x is the, the amount of shore that she decides to skip before she lands the boat. This is x. If she rows all the way to the restaurant, then x is this full distance, and x is 6. So we know that x is equal to 6, but we don't want to plug it in right now. We want to plug it in after we've taken a derivative so that we can figure out what the z should be that would make that optimal. Remember, the derivative gives me information about an optimal path. So I'm not going to plug in information until I've taken the derivative. So let's take a derivative of this thing. So I'm going to call this dt dx. x is the thing that's changing here, not z. We just don't know what z is. Okay. Uh, I take the derivative and I get that this is 1 half of 16 plus x squared to the negative 1 half times the derivative of what's inside, which is 2x, all divided by z. And then over here, the derivative of 6 minus x over 3 is minus 1 third. Okay. Now I want to set that equal to 0 and theoretically solve for x. But as soon as I set it equal to 0, let's clean this up a little bit. The 2 cancels with the 2. And I can rewrite this thing as um, this is, I'll set it equal to 0. 0 is equal to, on top, I get x. On bottom, I get z times the square root of 16 plus x squared minus one-third. Now, I've set it equal to zero, so I'm saying, like, optimize this. Find the critical value. And I'm saying, wait a second, I know what x is, though. The x that will optimize this thing, we're saying, is um, 6. So if I know what the optimal x is, now I can use the optimal x to figure out what z should be to make that the optimal x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, so now that I know what x is, let's plug it in. And I get that 0 is equal to 6 is x, so it's 6 over z times the square root of 16 plus x squared, and, but x squared in this case is 36, minus 1 third. And now the only thing left to do is I just need to solve this thing for z. So let's move the 1 third to the other side, and I get 1 third is equal to 6 over uh, z times the square root of, I suppose this would be 52, 
Um, all right, so we can cross multiply this thing, and we get that z times the square root of 52 is equal to 3 times 6, which is 18, or that z is equal to 18 over um, the square root of 52, which we could simplify this just a little bit. Square root of 52 is, 52 is 13 times 4, so this is 18 over 2 root 13. It's the same thing. And the 2 and the 18 would cancel and give me a 9 on top. So I could just write this as 9 over the square root of 13. And let's remember, what is z that we're talking about? z is a, uh, <clears throat> a rate, a rate at which we are rowing the boat. Um, so this is uh, miles per hour. So the minimum rate at which you would have to row this boat in order for the optimal thing to do is just row straight to the restaurant is 9 over the square root of 13 miles per hour.